Hey guys, happy Sunday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great start to your day so far. So I am very excited for today's video. I have a very fun video in store for you guys today, and I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 current favorite spring candle recommendations. And I'm going to be doing this in collab with one of my fellow YouTube people here on the candle community, Katie's Joyful Life. So we are once again doing another collab. We actually did this same collab video last spring in March. And um, honestly, it's, it's a whole new group of candles here. Um, I'm trying to focus a little bit more on this year's one on like the newer stuff. So I wanna give you like my current favorites where last year I focused a little bit more on my all time favorites, my holy grails, which I obviously still love them, but I wanted to give you guys some more current picks and stuff that you could actually get now because some of that stuff has been retired for years. So, yeah, that is what we are doing in today's video. Um, I will link down below Katie's channel as well as her video, so you guys can go down and watch her video. Katie is such an amazing person here on YouTube and just in her personal being. Um, if you follow her on Instagram, you see a little bit more of like her personal life and um, stories, and she's just such a great person um, in and out of the candle community. I, me and her both started our channels kind of right around the same time, and um, we quickly met each other through YouTube and social media, and we have just been there to support each other throughout the journey since we're obviously both newer. And, um, you know, there's still a lot to learn two years later after starting our channels, and we're still um, helping each other out. And we chat on Instagram all the time, and um, it's just been really great to meet her here on um, YouTube. Isn't it just so crazy? Like the people that we meet throughout, um, like social media media and the internet. I've honestly met some amazing people here, Katie being one of them, and um, I'm just so grateful for this little community that we all um, have together. So I will link her video down below. She and I have very similar taste, I feel like, but we also can differ on different things. So I'll be very interested to see what her picks are. I actually, we have not discussed what our picks are. We just both said we're gonna choose 10 candles. And so I'm very interested to see. I think we'll probably share some similar favorites on the video, but I also think that she may have some different things than I will. And um, I think I'll probably have some different things than she will. So definitely check out her video and subscribe to her channel if you're not already. And if you're new here from Katie's channel, welcome. Um, I hope you all stick around. I'm Connor. I love candles, hence why my name on YouTube is Connor Loves Candles. So uh, please subscribe if you're new here. I hope you guys will, um, you know, enjoy my candle content. I focus mainly on candle content here on my channel. Um, I do some lifestyle stuff as well. I also love personal fragrance. So um, yeah, I do a few different things here on my channel. But anyways, let's get into my topics, you guys. First off, this was really hard to narrow down. I just want to say that um, there's going to be people in the comments that are like, what about this one? What about this one? By the way, sorry about the beeping in the background. It is um, our dishwasher. I don't know how to get it to stop beeping. So <laughs> anyways, please ignore that. Um, but as I was saying, there are so many good picks for my favorites for spring. And there are so many things that I love. But to narrow it down, I really just did have to kind of eliminate a few. So just because I don't mention it in today's video doesn't mean I don't love it. There are so many good candles out there. And um, yeah, sorry if I don't mention something that you love. Um, let me know down below in the comments what are your top 10 picks or maybe 10 is too much. Tell me like your top three picks for spring candles because I would love to hear what you guys are all loving. Um, all of this stuff should be available. I have some of it with me. Some of it is not with me. So I'll kind of go back and forth that way. But um, let's get into the top picks. Okay, I'm going to start off with a Bath and Body Works candle that I fell in love with. It is brand new for this spring. And um, it's kind of gone in and out of stock in the last couple of months because it's just been extremely popular. And I totally understand why. 
and it is Main Street Bakery. So this is my Main Street Bakery. Obviously, it is completely finished to the bottom. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed this fragrance and um, I loved it. I do need backups. I just have not gotten them yet. My store has been sold out of it. Online was sold out of it and I just haven't gotten around to getting more of this one, but I love this one so much. This is such a delicious scent. The notes are fresh bananas, uh, vanilla wafers, and cinnamon sugar. And while it's obviously gone, it still smells so good just from this little wax chunk right here. Oh, it's so good. I love this one. To me, it really does smell like and smell like an authentic banana pudding to me because you do get that really nice brown, ripe yellow banana scent. Um, you get a really delicious creaminess from this one that I'm thinking is like that pudding cream uh, filling in there. And then you do also get like a slight cinnamon hint in here. It's just a very slight hint of it. And it is definitely mixed with sugar. Um, there's definitely a lot of sweetness in here, but it is just a delicious and the cookie. I can't forget about the cookie. It has like the little uh, like Nilla wafers at the bottom too. Oh, this one's so good, you guys. Uh, by the way, if you're new here, I love gourmands and you will definitely see that reflected in my picks for this video. So I definitely had to pick this one. So that is Main Street Bakery. Also, I love the packaging on this one. It's so cute. I love the scallops. Everything about this candle, I love. Even the price point, it's only uh, $24.95. So I love that about this one too. So that is my first pick, Main Street Bakery. Okay. Continuing with Bath and Body Works, let's do one that I don't have with me. And I will pull up a picture of the ones that I don't have with me um, so that you guys can see. But my next Bath and Body Works pick is going to be Hummingbird Tea Cake. So here is a picture of Hummingbird Tea Cake right here. So if you guys remember this one, I had this candle back in, I think it was, it was either January or February and I fell in love with it. It is a delicious fragrance, and it's actually, to me, um, very similar to sweet carrot cake. So if you're not able to get um, honey, hummingbird tea cake, then you could definitely check out sweet carrot cake, which Bath & Body Works also has. But um, hummingbird tea cake is just a really delicious um, hummingbird cake scent. Now, I had never tried or even heard of hummingbird cake, but after, um, Having this candle, I actually decided to make a hummingbird cake and I might actually film the video and have it here on my channel. So definitely check that out. But the notes are pineapple cake batter, cinnamon spice, and toasted pecans. And um, first off, the pineapple note, don't let that scare you away if you're like me and you don't always love pineapple. The pineapple in here is not extremely strong. It's more of just like a slightness in the background, but I really don't pick up a ton of pineapple at all. Um, most of what it is, it's like, it's, it's like a cinnamon spice cake with the toasted pecans. It's kind of nutty. And then you do get like a vanilla frosting in this one as well. It is to die for you guys. It is so good and delicious. I would definitely repurchase that one. It is definitely a favorite for me. So that is my first, or that's my second Bath & Body Works pick. And this is my Bath & Body Works picks. Um, as far as like how their spring has been, I felt like Bath & Body Works has been doing really good. Um, obviously there's others that I love that I haven't mentioned, including these two right here. These are like bonuses, Anna's Garden and Honeysuckle Backyard. Um, both great scents, but yeah, my top two would definitely be Main Street Bakery and Hummingbird Tea Cake. All right, we gotta go a little bit quicker. We're already at um, nine minutes. All right. So let's do some homeworks. The first one here I have with me, and this was a new release for this year, and it is Blueberry Violet Tart. So I picked this one up when it went to QVC, um, and it's now on slotkindacode.com, by the way, but I fell in love with this one when I burned it. The notes on here are fresh blueberries, violet petals, baked pastry, and vanilla bean. And you guys, Oh, I love this one. I love Harry's blueberry scents. He does blueberries so, so well, and this is the perfect example of that. Um, the blueberry in here to me is quite similar to Farm Stamp Blueberry from Homeworks. 
also a little bit of like a blueberry cheesecake vibe in here going as well. Um, you do get that slight hint of floral in here that comes from the violet, but it just adds a really nice like floral touch to it. It makes it more springy, right? The floral obviously adds a springiness to in here. And then you do just get like a slight pastry notes. I will say, I wish there was a little bit more pastry in here, but it is just so good with just that blueberry and the violet. And it's definitely a new favorite for me from Homeworks. So like I said, I got it on QVC. So obviously it came in a set of two and um, this is my backup. I think I might save my backup for next spring just because I love this one, but I definitely want to pick up a few backups just to have on hand because it's just such a delicious scent and um, Harry just does blueberries so, so well. So that's my first homework um, choice. And then my second one I don't have with me, but um, actually Katie was part of the reason that I picked this one up. Um, she loved this candle when it first released from Homeworks a few years ago, and then it went away for a few years, but now it is back and it is Lemon Poppy Muffins. So this one right there. Um, I fell in love with this candle when I received it. Um, I know I'm saying that for like every video, but I, I love this candle. Um, the notes are poppy seed, lemon zest, baked vanilla, and sparkling sugar. And it really is just a delicious, sweet, candied lemon fragrance with a really nice bakeriness to it. So you have that like big vanilla. It really does smell like an authentic cupcake. And then I get like a white chocolate note almost. It's almost like a white chocolate frosting in here, but it is just so decadent. It's rich. It's delicious and just yummy. And if you love Harry's Gourmands, you have to check that one out. I love how he does fruit and gourmand together. I love how he does that one. Berry trifle's great. Like Harry has so many great gourmands as we know, but that one to me was just one of my favorites and it will definitely be a repurchase for me. Um, by the time this video goes up, I'm not sure if the homework sale will still be going, but if it is their National Fragrance Week sale, then um, definitely check that candle out. It is a great one. So those are my two homeworks picks. Okay, let's move on to Kringle because that is where I have, um, I've got five picks from Kringle because Kringle has had such a big spring launch. They've had three wicks, they've had spring scents, they've had reserve candles. There is so many good um, fragrances for Kringle for this uh, spring. Okay, starting off with my first one here, which is going to be ice cream sandwiches. I had to include this one in this video because I, I love this ice cream sandwiches. It is so good. Um, similar to my Main Street Bakery, this one is completely finished to the bottom and I still need backups of this. Um, the notes are rainbow sprinkles, sea salt, macadamia nuts, ice cream, ruby chocolate, cotton candy, vanilla milkshake, toasted coconut, chocolate bean. So there's a lot of stuff in there, but to me, this is mostly a really delicious um, milk chocolate scent with a really nice coconut note in here. I love when Kringle does that chocolate coconut blend. I know not everybody loves it, but I do personally. And then I also love that macadamia nut that is in here. That macadamia nut just really does give it such a delicious, um, just like sweetness to it, but also like savoriness. It like is a really nice balance of like sweet and salty. Um, Oh, I just love this one. You have to check it out. As you can tell, I love gourmands. There's a lot of gourmands on this list, but this one is definitely, definitely worth checking out. It is so dang good. So that is my first one. Okay, my next uh, Kringle pick is gonna have to go to this one. And this was really hard to pick from because I, um, I loved all these three wicks and I haven't even burned them yet, but I love them on cold, but I only had room for one of them on this list and it has to go to Patinga Peach. I think out of all of the three wicks, my favorite is Patinga Peach here. It is just, oh, it's so good. I love this one so much. This, um, it reminds me quite a lot of Homeworks Farm Stand Peach. So if you like that Homeworks Farm Stand Peach, I think that this one is quite, quite similar. It's like a very sweet peach fragrance, but it has a really nice authenticity to it as well. Um, 
Oh, I love this one. I need, I wish that this one had the notes on it because um, it's hard to describe this without the notes, but it's a very sweet peach. You get just like that like fruity scent that you love during the summer. I love peach scents during the summertime and this is the perfect summertime peach fragrance. Now I will say, I'm definitely planning on burning this with some of those other fruity scents. So like the crushed blueberries, the farm stand strawberry one. There's just so many good fruity three wicks, but out of all of them, I think that this is my favorite. And I will say I've heard some positive and negative reviews. Um, like I said, I haven't really burned them yet, so I will definitely be reviewing them soon in the next couple of weeks. But on cold, my favorite is hands down Tinka Beach. Okay few more from Kringle. First one is from the Spring Collection, and I actually have it currently going right now in my crop downstairs. And even though this one did have some slight performance issues for me, I love cake pops from Kringle. Kringle Country Cake Pops is so good. I'll pull up a picture for you guys, but this is the most delicious, like, um, it's, it does smell like a cake pops, but because it has that sweet musk note in there, it does just have like a slight body care smell to it as well. Um, but it really is just a delicious cake and vanilla frosting type scent. Um, here is a picture of it right here. And I love that purple wax as well, by the way, but this is the picture and oh, you guys, this is such a good, delicious scent. Like I said, you have that sweet vanilla cake, you have the buttercream rich frosting, and then they, it does have a sweet musk note in there, which will definitely scare some people away, but that sweet musk note just does really give it a like body care fragrance smell, and I love it in there. So I love this uh, Cake Pops. It is definitely a favorite for me. Um, it also reminds me quite a lot of something from Sol de Janeiro. So I think it's 70, which is the, um, macadamia chocolate one or whatever it's called. Um, that one is just so good and they actually remind me quite a lot of each other. I don't know if they're dead on dupes, but they're definitely quite similar. Um, also a little bit similar to Bath & Body Works wrapped in vanilla, if you guys remember that one from a few years ago. But Kringle Country Candle Cake Pops definitely had to make this list. It is just a delicious gourmand fragrance and will definitely be a repurchase for me. So. That is my third Kringle pick. And then my last two from Kringle have to go to reserve candles that I don't have here with me. And um, these two just really rocked my world this winter. These released in January and um, I fell in love with both of them. And um, I'll pull up pictures for you guys so you can remember. But we've got um, Sweet Cream, which is this one right here. And then we have this is sweet cream, by the way. I love the label on these. I just love the whole look of the reserve line. I think that they just um, are so cool in the way that they look. And the fragrances are normally a little bit more unique as well. And I love that about them too. And then the second one is sprinkled macarons, macaroons, however you want to say it. I know that there was a little debate on that, but I had to include both of those fragrances on this video because they really are such good gourmand fragrances. Clearly I have something for the gourmands. Um, and I loved both of them. First off, Sweet Cream to me was just like a delicious vanilla creamy frosting scent with a hint of strawberry in it to give it just a little bit of sweetness, but it is just so good, decadent, creamy, sweet, delicious. Um, they are both gone and out of stock and people are really waiting for Kringle to bring them back. I hope that Kringle does soon because there is clearly a big demand for those candles, specifically those two scents, but a lot of the reserve candles get very popular. And um, I know everybody's waiting for those to come back, me too. So um, I'm definitely waiting. I hope that they come back soon. I have heard that the Sprinkled Macaroons is a dupe for Marshmallow Morning from Kringle. So if you have that one in your collection, Collection, or maybe you just need something to suffice you for waiting, um, that uh, marshmallow morning candle might be good for that. So those two definitely have to go on the list. And I didn't even really talk about those sprinkle macaroons. That one is like a delicious vanilla pastry scent. It has a slight pumpkin note in there, which don't let it scare you away. It's just, just such a slight pumpkin note in there and just like a hint of spice. But I love that one so much and it's just such a delicious gourmand. So both of those are on the list. 
All right, and then my last candle here, I had to include a Yankee on this list. Um, and the one that was my personal favorite from their, spring, from their spring collection this year was Stargazing. So this is Stargazing right here. This is um, new for 2024, and this is actually my second one. Um, I fell in love with this candle when it released, and so I had to pick up a few more and Yes, it's so good. So Stargazing has a lavender base to it. It's got vanilla in it as well. It's almost a little bit earthy in a way, but it just smells so fresh and clean and comforting. And it's just such a great lavender scent. Um, I don't always love lavender, but I feel like Yankee specifically does lavender really well. Dried lavender and oak is one of my favorites from Yankee. And this one is definitely up there too now with lavender scents and i just love this lavender candle so if you've not tried stargazing from yankee yet i highly recommend it it's a delicious just like i don't even think delicious is the right word because it's not gourmand but it is just a really nice calming um beautiful pretty fragrance and i really applaud them for that one so yeah those are my top 10 you guys um it's a lot there a lot of it is gourmand i will admit that but there are also some fruity scents in there and um i love my florals as well so anyways those are my top picks for my current favorite spring candles um like i said let me know down below in the comments what are your favorite picks for the spring it can be um new ones or can be old scents whatever you would like let me know down below in the comments what are your favorites i will put this list down below by the way so you guys can find it and i'll put links for each as well so you can just click there and find the candle um i am an affiliate with both kringle and homeworks so i'll leave my um discount codes down there for you guys as well to find those and save a little bit of money there by the way those are affiliate codes so i do make a small commission back but it just does go right back into supplying for my channel to buy more candles to review for you guys so yeah those are my top picks um i want to once again thank katie so much for doing the video with me um she is just again such an amazing content creator and just person in real life so obviously i've never met her but through what i've seen on social media she just is a very um you know down to earth person and she has just been a great person to meet through uh youtube and social media and the candle community Community. So definitely give her a follow and check out her video down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.